Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, July 16th, 2019. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, I want to say one thing before we get started. Um, I love you guys. I love all of you so much. Um, and I love all the comments that you leave. And normally I try to like read through them and respond if I can, blah, blah, blah. But lately, a lot more people have been watching, which for which I am incredibly grateful. Um, but I'm finding, even though I have more time in my life now, I am having trouble keeping up with the comments. So, <laughs> sorry guys, I love you all so, so much. So please, I hope, I don't know why I felt compelled to say that, but I just, I, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am reading the comments, I am wanting to interact and engage, but sometimes I just can't get to them all, okay? All right. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to say, but it, it escapes me now. So I'll just, maybe I'll write it down. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into the energy. So, all right. So here's the thing. Collective energies for the day. Oh, 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 this is one thing I wanted to say. So um, I really enjoy doing this whole like pre-shuffle situation. So I'm really like working on integrating this into our, um, our, our process, our reading. Okay. So I have um, pre-shuffle energies here. Now, my intention is to have the pre-shuffle here and then like, I, that's our preliminary discussion and then we get into the actual message. We'll actually see if the message, um, you know, continues from the pre-shuffle. It is my intention to do that, but I'm leaving it up to the universe for whatever we want to talk about, okay? So just keep that in mind um, and let's see how it flows from there, yeah? So getting into the pre-shuffle energies. The first card that came out was the Knight of Swords for today. So, oh, oh, also, um, that's also another thing I wanted to say. These readings are timeless. Yeah, so just because it's coming through for the 16th of July, it doesn't mean it has to resonate on that day. It can be any other day, okay? It can be at any moment whenever you find this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that time. Yes? All right, cool. So, Knight of Swords was the first card that came out. Aggression anger. This very much feels like a shoot first, ask questions later type of situation. Um, but also, now, no, hold on. Um, yes, it, it feels like an aggressive energy. It feels like someone is very much on the defensive, okay? This is the Seven of Wands that came out with it also. Um, and actually, as I was about to pick up the Seven of Wands, I heard on the defensive. So someone is really on the defensive and Spirit is saying it has a lot to do with past hurts. So for some of you, <clears throat> you're dealing with something new. This may be a brand new trigger. It may be a brand new situation that is bringing forward some deeper healing, deeper insight to you. It could be something that's coming forward that's bringing insight into this, uh, to like a wound or some healing that needs to be done that you didn't even know were, well, you weren't consciously aware that needed to be done, okay? For others, this feels like a continuation of a situation, a continuation that requires healing, yes? You do have the Wheel of Fortune here. Now, the Wheel of Fortune came out yesterday, but it was this side, and it was in reverse, all right? Today, it's this side with the magician. And also, if you remember from yesterday's reading, if you watched it, if you didn't, go ahead and check it out. If this is resonating with you so far, go ahead and check it out. It may be, um, you know, part of the message for you for uh, Monday, July, um, yeah, Monday, July 15th, right? But for today, this came out on this side. And what Spirit is saying here is something is manifesting, but you don't really know it yet. And then we get into the overall, which is the high priestess in reverse. Uh, but on this side, we have the ace of wands. Oh, so someone mentioned or asked yesterday what deck I'm using for these readings. Um, and I apologize, I didn't get to actually write your uh, 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 reply to you, but this is the vice versa deck. Yeah, here, let me show you, I have the box. It's this deck. I, I guys, 
I love this deck. <laughs> it's really growing on me. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, the High Priest is saying that we need you to trust us. She literally just said, I need you to trust me, all right? There's something going on underneath the surface that you're not completely aware of, and I'm not giving you all the information right now because you really don't need to know. Because right now, <clears throat> right now, there is some healing that needs to be done. This is the Wheel of Fortune, but the healing that needs to be done right now is a direct connection to your manifestations, to what it is you're trying to pull in, okay? With this side of the card, um, I, ver I get very much that you either are working very hard to maintain or you are maintaining or you need to maintain a positive vibration, a positive alignment when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune and how the situations are playing out, how the wheel is turning for you and where it seems to be landing that is bringing forward certain things for you because it's in direct connection to the manifestations at hand, yes? Ace of Wands here. The Ace of Wands is upright, and you see you have the sun here, all right, on this card. And there's an, I think this is a, this looks like a hawk. There's a hawk flying. Um, hawks, in my opinion, um, I don't know what the official, you know, symbology of a hawk is, but <clears throat> from my own un intuitive understanding, hawks are um, very strong hunters. Um, they have very keen eyes eyesight, okay? So they know how to get what they want. They know how to find it and get it. Um, and um, a hawk is also, you can be seen on the Nine of Pentacles in the traditional Rider weight deck. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of independence and autonomy and symbolizing, you know, you, ha you, are, you have the ability to get anything that you want at any moment. It's, that ability is at your disposal 100%, right? So with the hawk being here on this Ace of Wands, I, I feel like you know exactly what you want and you're going to get it. That's what I just heard. You're going to get it because you know how to get it. But part of knowing how to get it is doing this healing in terms of what it is you're looking, you desire to manifest into your life, okay? Um, but with all of that said, though, somebody here is really, really, really on the defensive right now. And this Knight of Swords energy does feel a bit self-destructive here. Um, because you're fight against, fighting against elements um, that I'm hearing for some of you no longer exist. Um, they're just perceived obstacles. Um, this feels like a f shoot first, ask questions later type of energy because of how defensive you are. I don't know what may have happened um, recently or suddenly, uh, but the guidance is that you're not quite seeing the whole picture right now the high priestess in reverse. And she's saying to you, I'm not revealing the dirty, the details. <laughs> yeah, the dirty details. Okay, for some of you, <laughs> for some of you, I'm not revealing the dirty details here, okay? This is on a need to know basis, says the high priestess. And right now, what you see in front of you is exactly what you need to see in front of you. I'm not revealing the rest of it for you right now. But also, the high priestess in reverse could be the fact that um, you are in resistance to or you are in denial in some way about where your path is leading you. Wheel of Fortune with the Magician, all right? Okay. All right, cool. So we're moving on. All righty, kids. All right, give me just a second here. Let me um, reset. What's this? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so we're dealing with some sort of relationship energies. The Two of Cups just fell out and it's in reverse. And it's this side of the card, which is bright and, and you know, there's sunlight here. On this side, it's, um, uh, it's dark, right? <clears throat> In the book, the, the, this side of the card represents being able to, mm, wow, being able to, um, able and willing, and this is the right time to go public about a relationship. So someone may be going public about a relationship right now, and that could be part of what's affecting you. Um, someone that you may have been really into, because now we also have the lovers here, all right? And then on the other side of the card, we have the Page of Pentacles. 
Um, so we're still we're still in the pre-shuffle, you guys, and I, I'm just trying to make sure I got the the message correctly before I you know start speaking on it, but. Uh, okay, Spirit's saying, Eric, the message is clear, just tell them. Okay, fine. Um, there is a relationship that's happening here, but I don't, um, it, it's in alignment, yes. There's a choice that has been, oh, sorry. There's a choice that has been made, yes, but it's for a higher, higher reason. It's for a higher purpose, all right? It's not what you think it is. The Page of Pentacles here in reverse is someone wants a start, a new start. Someone wants um, a commitment. I heard someone wants a challenge also. That's interesting. Um, but but whatever has just happened, whatever has come forward, and this could be directly connected to why someone is like Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands energy, but it's not what you think it is. I mean, I, I just heard it's literally, it's just a preliminary. Okay, because there is a deeper connection here. 1111, there's a deeper connection here with the lovers but what's on the surface may not exactly be it. Um, I'm also getting an energy of someone is not happy. Someone is not happy in a relationship. Um, and it's probably, and, and with it, the, the Two of Cups being this side of the card where it's all bright and sunny and talking about being public and, and you know, about your relationship and all that. It's, there is a relationship that has been um, established, has been in standing for a while, but uh, I'm hearing it's not going anywhere. Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's not going anywhere. Um, that's just for some of you. For others of you, okay, okay. Spirit just said it. It is. It is a legitimate relationship. All right, but it's not. It's not the end all, be all potentially. Um, there's a higher purpose here. That's coming from the lovers. We have the Two of Cups and the lovers. We do see, I do see the Two of Cups as the minor arcana version of the lovers. There is a substantial, there is a substantial relationship on the horizon, guys, all right? I don't know what's going on with, I, I, I don't know what's going on specifically for you guys, but there is a, a substantial relationship that is in fact on the horizon, all right? And there is a desire to give some sort of commitment or some, uh, some sort of commitment, and I heard, it ha I heard social standing, so that could be the energy of, you know, being open in public about a relationship or whatnot, but there is an energy of wanting to give some sort of stability with the Page of Pentacles, but the Page of Pentacles was in reverse. I'm just getting a feeling of someone's kind of learning how to do it right now. All right. Okay. And that's not, that's not a bad thing, actually. It's actually a really good thing. It's a really, really good thing. Okay. All right. One more shuffle, and then we'll get into today's energies. All right, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, July 16th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids, five shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got for today. Now, as soon as I settled in and started to do the prayer for today, I saw green, which, yes, okay, yes, you, yes, y'all, I'm wearing a green shirt. Her, 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 okay, but, <laughs> but no, it's a green color. It's the heart energy. It's the heart chakra. Things are coming into alignment, guys. Um, uh, the universe is saying, trust me please 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 just trust me um there's heart healing that's happening um this is shuffle number three okay just trust us that's all they're saying just trust us four and last shuffle, but uh, with the green card, oh, I'm sorry, with the green card. <laughs> Ooh, green card, okay. Well, maybe some of you might be dealing with some sort of immigration situation, um, but the green energy that I'm feeling is very much heart chakra healing. Um, 
I just heard there's a lot of damage that has been done that needs to be replaced with goodness and light. And you need to complete the cycle within before the, com the cycle can be completed in the external, all right? And I'm being shown the Wheel of Fortune again. Um, my eyes are closed. I'm just sitting here channeling. I have to shuffle one more time. Um, I'm going to do that. But uh, the green energy is heart chakra clearing, okay? Okay, last shuffle. All right. All righty. Here we go. Best messages, please, spirit, for today, Tuesday, July 16th, 2019. Best messages, please, spirit. What would you like to talk with us about? What are we speaking about today? That's enough. Okay. All right. Oof. Okay. We have the Six of Cups in reverse here. And on this side, we have the Five of Wands. And this time, it's that explosive side. There is a huge eruption of emotion right now. There is a soulmate connection here that doesn't seem to have panned out. That it seems that there is a blockage here. Um, this is kind of a catalyst, you could say, all right? Um, now, if you want to look at this at the, on the brighter side, uh, with more optimism, the Six of Cups is talking about there is a substantial soulmate relationship that's in front of you, or that's ahead of you, is what I'm hearing. Um, but right now, these volatile energies need to be dealt with. It's... Uh, um, so this is, I'm, I'm feeling, <clears throat> Spirit is, is putting, is letting me know that this actually is probably going to be, this energy is the big focus of the reading right now. Um, so let's talk about this. We have the Nine of Cups, oh no, I'm sorry, the Eight of Cups with the Four of Swords. The, oof, wow, the Five of Swords is in reverse. The Page of Cups is upright, oh goodness gracious. And here we go, we've got the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Okay. This is you. Whoever is in this emotional energy right now, this is you. Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups. Your heart is ready. Your heart is open. Uh, you are, in fact, and this is a good thing, but Spirit is, in fact, saying you are seeing things clearly. Clear as day. As clear as possible. All right? But, of course, it doesn't mean that what you're seeing isn't, <laughs> isn't throwing, you, throwing you into emotional wreckage, okay? But the good thing here, all right, the good thing is that the Queen of Cups is upright. If the Queen of Cups was reversed, all hell would be breaking loose. Um, but But luckily, it's not in reverse. It's upright, all right? But... <clears throat> there's confusion. There's a lot of confusion here. On this Seven of Cups energy, um, this, you see that this individual is standing in like a marsh um, and he's blind. Um, it seems that he's wandered into this marsh, you know, without any assistance or guidance or anything. Well, no, that's not true. He has had guidance for for the individuals here that I'm channeling for you have had guidance but you're kind of just I, I feel like you've been kind of walking into this blindly but I don't I, I'm saying that and I'm hesitating in saying it because I don't want it, it's not a bad thing you're using your intuition you're following your intuition Queen of Cups all right the Queen of Cups is the second most psychic individual in the deck other than none other than the queen than the uh, the high priestess who came out in the beginning all right you're following your intuition because you're walking towards you're moving towards your 7 of cups all right not i'm sorry not your 7 of cups your 10 of cups but the 7 of cups is here because you're blindly following your intuition okay but i feel like you really have no choice other than to just follow, you really, you don't. You have no choice other than to just follow your intuition and to follow the guidance that's given to you from the universe, all right? But that's why the high priestess was in reverse earlier because there's some sort of resistance to it. Um, there's some sort of blockage here. 
Um, it's even a situation in which you might kind of be, I, uh, you might be doubt doubting your intuition, sure, but the way the cards came out, uh, you are more doubting the universe than you are doubting your intuition, all right? But there is illusion in front of you. You're confused. You're, you're scared. You're like, what the hell is going on? Because you're, you're moving towards your Ten of Cups, but it seems that something has come up that has now changed the direction, changed the course. I don't know. Um, okay, you have the Eight of Cups here with the Four of Swords. Some of you, <laughs> some of you are really trying not to walk away at this point. You're needing to not walk away, all right? Um, but this is the healing that we're talking about, says the universe. I just heard the star is right in front of you, all right? But you need to do this healing first. So it's not about... It's not about this side of the card, where you have these eight cups neatly stacked and now you're just walking away. Either you could be walking away to go collect your other two cups or you're just completely leaving the situation behind. In this situation, I would think you're leaving the situation behind because, and you're going on like a journey of the soul here with this individual that kind of looks like the hermit, right? With the sun and the moon up there that are kind of symbolizing a balance. So if this side of the card came out, it would be talking about walking away to do your own inner healing but here it came out this way so this is not about walking away it's about sitting here and looking at what's in front of you and working on seeing it as clearly as possible and doing the healing associated with it for uh, especially with this four of swords um now the kid there's a child on this card um and to me that's i'm picking up that for some of you this has this is deep wounding that stems from childhood that you're needing to face right now in order in order yes seven of cups ten of cups queen of cups in order for you to get this ten of cups situation okay and then we also have the five of swords now which is in reverse and the page of cups this is a good thing all right um, for some of you, you're really needing to put down the swords, put down the aggression, stop the negative self-talk, self, stop the self-sabotage, all right, and focus on your dreams. Others of you, you're actually doing this or you're working on doing this. Focus on what it is you wish to manifest, not on the negativity or perceived negativity that is going on around you. Instead, stop sabotaging yourself, stop sabotaging your manifestations and focus on what it is you, you truly desire. Focus on your dreams. The Page of Cups is the, the, the dreamer energy, okay? Now, for others of you, you have this relationship here. Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Cups, though. So for others of you that may have just gotten into a relationship, I am kind of feeling like the, this, the, I, I'm feeling like I'm talking, speaking with a masculine energy at this moment, whether you're a male, man or a woman, those who represent, who uh, 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 embody more of the feminine, the masculine energy, you have a relationship in front of you and yet there's still some sort of confusion. It's almost as if you've reached this Ten of Cups state. You finally found someone that, you know, okay, you can settle down with, that you can make love to, that you can, you know, share a life with, and yet there's still some sort of confusion. Seven of Cups. So, okay, to the feminines then, if you are connecting with a divine masculine or a counterpart that is of the masculine orientation, um, the masculine vibration, this person has some things they need to work out. It's not, it's, it's not clear for them either, okay? So don't fret about it. All right, back to the masculines here. This Eight of Cups with the Four of Swords for you is... <sighs> okay, so I get the sense that what you're doing is that you're sitting here looking at this. 
you have some sort of um, desires to have a relationship, to have a family, and yet things are not complete for you. Even though you have this Ten of Cups here, which would say, which would mean, okay, things are kind of complete. Not necessarily. You have the Eight of Cups here, all right? You have the Eight of Cups. And yet, two cups are still kind of missing. And you're not quite sure why. And remember, when, while we were in the pre-shuffle, the Two of Cups came out. It was in reverse with the, the bright side of the card, um, the sunlit side of the card. So, okay, you've gone public about a relationship. All right, cool. But it's in reverse. So it's not quite there yet. It's not quite complete with the lovers here. Um, and the, the lovers was in the deck, like, a, on, like as an overall energy. I, I feel like for some of you, it's setting you up to get the actual, the true representation of this Ten of Cups here. So you're sitting here at this eight, and you're looking things over with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is an energy of um, taking rest, uh, 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 a respite, um, <clears throat> taking a break, taking a nap, but also taking a break so that you can see things clearer, that you can look at things at another, in another direction or see things from another perspective. The Four of Swords is very much a minor arcana version to, of the, um, the Hanged Man, which is all about <clears throat> being in a precarious situation. <laughs> I heard, I wanted to say, <clears throat> for some of you, this means being in a precarious relationship, but, but, but the Hanged Man is not here. The, the, the Hanged Man energy is similar to the Four of Swords in that you're in a strange or stagnant or precarious position, but that's in order to gain some sort of clarity, see, to see something differently, to gain some sort of enlightenment. Here, the Four of Swords is you're trying to see things in a different direction or from a different point of view. Um, I honestly feel like with this Eight of Cups energy and the Four of Swords, I feel like someone is asking, why is this not working out for me? I have this Ten of Cups... <clears throat> situation with this queen of cups who who's a feminine energy who like really loves me or really cares about me or is, is really um compassionate unconditionally loving blah 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 and yet something doesn't feel right seven of cups something just doesn't feel right for some of you that's what this is and then the five of swords in reverse with the page of cups is like well oh Okay, so for you masculines, the Page of Cups with the Five of Swords in reverse is saying you're not fighting anymore. I'm hearing an energy of, I don't wanna be a player anymore, okay. And, wow, okay, so you're learning some sort of emotional responsibility. You're working on maturing emotionally. You're putting down the swords of aggression um, you're putting down the swords of, you know, not wanting to be in a relationship or not, you know, just not vibing with that whole thing or maybe even being afraid of a relationship. But even though it was something that you wanted all this time, okay, um, instead now you're learning to be emotionally responsible. So you're starting at the page and you're working way up to the king. Okay, so if you're a feminine here and you're in this relationship with this person, they have to do some sort of emotional cleansing, healing, um, uh, come to some sort of emotional maturity for this Seven of Cups to be put out here and then you're good. You know what I mean? For the confusion to be, go to, to, to be eradicated. But man, emotions are high right now. Five of Wands. All right, five of wands, emotions are high. There's some sort of emotional eruption here and I really do feel like that's mostly on the feminine side. But the good thing about this is, it's, this is just an emotional eruption. Um, that doesn't mean that anything's really going to happen because of it. Like I said, for the feminine on, in this situation that is watching someone else enter into a new relationship currently, your emotions, you're keeping your emotions in check, you're dealing with them, you're handling them, you're, you're staying good. It doesn't mean that you're not upset. You may not, I mean, you may be crying about it. It doesn't mean you're not emotional, but it's not an emotional wreckage, 
okay? And it's also the good thing about this right here is that you're facing it, all right? It's not that she's revert, she's backwards and she's feeling these emotions, but she's trying not to face it. You're facing it. But that's a good thing, feminine. Why? Because this is helping you do the emotional cleansing and hearing, healing that you need in order to get your Ten of Cups, to get the relationship you're looking for. Okay, that's beautiful, but you still have this emotional eruption here. You could be ready to fight someone, but you're really trying not to, okay? Five of Swords is in reverse. But you do have this Six of Cups in reverse, but hey, it's just the blockage right now. And also, Feminines, keep in mind, I want my Golden Universal today. Keep in mind that the Two of Cups in reverse with the lovers resonates for you too because this is a situation, or I want to say a situationship, that is leading you to the divine masculine that you're looking for. Now, the term divine masculine and divine feminine stems from the twin flame journey. I, I, I at one point, was very much resonating with the twin flame journey. I kind of still do, but I don't, I, I mean, whatever. It's so much more than what people make it out to be. I've met, I've said it many times, but I should probably actually put make a video of it um, and just post it so that you know I could just have one <laughs> one place where you know my view of the situation can be up. But um, what I'm saying, when in terms of divine masculine energy, you don't necessarily have to identify with a twin flame situation. The divine masculine energy would just be that divine counterpart that you're actually looking for and and the two of cups being in reverse but then the lovers being upright is saying to me that whatever you're facing right now the person that you might have thought was supposed to be the one or was that counterpart that relationship um may not necessarily be it okay so just like we have a masculine energy here that is working on getting to their true ten of cups you are we're also working on getting through getting to your true divine partnership or ten of cups um through these cycles all right so so i don't want I really don't want any of you to slip into now the attachment phase, okay? There needs to be a good amount of detachment here because the person that you might be connected with, that you might feel like you have this really strong connection with, may not ultimately, ultimately be that person that turns out to be that relationship for you. It's entirely possible, again, with the High Priestess in the reverse, in the pre-shuffle, the universe is saying, I need you to trust me because you're you're not your things about I I heard you're not seeing clearly, um, and that and what that means is there are things about the situation about your journey that you're not seeing, that that are not completely in view or you may not be completely seeing right now, which is why you have this purging energy or this cleansing this healing that's happening in regards to this now even though i did say with the high pre with the the queen of cups upright you're seeing things for what they like you're, you're you're seeing the situation pretty clearly the universe is still saying there are still some elements that are not quite visible to you yet okay but what for whatever you're seeing right in front of you it, it's it's possible for you to see it clearly um Okay, there it is. It's possible for you to see it clearly, at least whatever you're, whatever is visible in front of you right now. I hope that got a little confusing. I hope you guys, I, <laughs> I hope you guys could follow that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's move on to the clarification section here. Um, I, I, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like I want to clarify these individually but then I also feel like I want to get an overall clarification too all right oof well the high priestess and not the high priestess I'm sorry the um <clears throat> The Empress and the Knight of Wands have fallen out in reverse here, okay? And then we have the Nine of Wands. Um, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put this back in, and I'm going to shuffle. And you know what? And then I'm, I'm just going to get an overall message. 
because we're already uh, 30, 35 minutes into this reading. So this is the message for the feminine here. All right. Um, this is what you're healing. This could go two ways. One, either you are fed up with, with this nine of wands here, <clears throat> you're fed up with uh, individuals that come into your life as the knight of wands, you know, all hot and heavy and ready to go, and then that just ghost you, all right? Because you're in this empress energy, okay? You, or you should be, or you need to be, or you want to be, you're working towards it. Um, the strongest thing I'm getting here is that you are, in fact, in this empress energy, um, but you keep attracting individuals that are not, that are non-committal, okay? But you're needing to heal this. So that's what's really going on here. That's the big thing that you're healing from. Maintaining your Empress energy. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, and then the second thing, right. So you're maintaining your Empress energy, but still being able to withstand you know, I heard the drama, all right, but this doesn't mean that you're allowing people into your life all willy-nilly. And for some of you, I really feel like that is the energy that you've been in. Um, now, the other thing that's coming forward is that the Empress with the Knight of Wands moving too quickly. You're clearing an energy of hastiness. Because even though you may be, you may see the situation, you may feel the connection between you and someone, you may be in this Empress energy, you might be ready to go. Like, you really may not be in an energy of you really need too much time to figure it out, because you've already figured it out. You already feel it, you're ready to go, let's do this, but maybe the other person isn't. There's some sort of purging of hastiness here. Um, also, also, there, okay, fine, but the biggest message here is, I just heard, he's not ready yet. He might wanna come forward towards you and <laughs> rock your world and like make all kinds of crazy passionate love to you and whatnot, whatever, but he's not ready yet. I'm hearing he's not ready for you. And that's not a bad thing because <laughs> you're in this Empress energy. You are, I mean, you're ready for an emperor, but the emperor is not ready for you. And that's hurting you a lot. Nine, nine of wands. It is like you're battered and bruised. You're exhausted. You're like, why does this keep happening to me? I mean, either you're doing some cleansing and purging or you're, or many of us are in the feminine collective are really... <clears throat> many of us in the feminine collective that have actually reached this empress energy and are fully embodying it, living it every day of our lives, um, we are waiting for the masculine counterparts to reach that energy. So they have some karmic cleansing that they need to do, all right? There are still, there are still some karmic relationships that need to happen in order to get them or you, masculines, to where... You you need to be so that you are the emperor for the empress, all right? Um, oh shoot, there was something else that was coming through too and now I've lost. Oh, <clears throat> feminines, you've been through. See, here's the thing. For the feminines that are actually in this empress energy, you've been car through karmic relationships too. You know what this is about, you know what this is like, okay? So you've got to give the masculines time to learn their lessons and to reach their goals so that <clears throat> excuse me so that they can be the counterpart to you all right so just because just because they're not ready does not mean that you're any less than see look there's the empress again they're not ah and here's the hanged man now the hanged man is in reverse here but that's just because of how i'm shuffling it but see, you've reached this enlightenment. You're coming out of the dark. You are in this energy, all right? So please, don't. whatever is happening in front of you, do not take this as you are less than, you're not worthy, you're not good enough, blah, blah, blah. It's not even about that. Ooh, I heard, yes, it is. In some cases, 
it's the feminine, it's the empress that's feeling this way, but in other cases, it's the masculine that thinks they're not ready or good enough for you. And vibrationally speaking, they may not be the, the, the right match to harmonize or even match completely well enough. But masculines, if you're in an energy of feeling like you're not good enough, that's just not the case. You just got to go through your healing process too, okay? Woof! There you go. The, and now here's the masculine energy. The hanged man with death. But the hanged man is upright. Not Yeah, the hanged man is upright here. So for the masculines, you're going through this process of, elim of um, yeah, elimination or enlightenment and going through a transformation process. Um, death can symbolize marriage um, just because it's a massive transformation or a major change. And so there's a major change happening for some of you. For some of the masculines out there that, I'm, that are resonating with this reading or that I'm channeling for here, you're going through a process of setting you up for marriage in some specific cases, okay? <clears throat> Last shuffle. All right, so now let's get the overall closing message from the tarot here. Here we go. Um, masculines, before I go any further, Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, this might actually be a really good counterpart for you, but you're still kind of confused about things you're still uh -huh. you're coming out of the player energy so you don't know how to really handle this that's what that seven of cups is but this is a beautiful energy this queen of cups just feels good all around so even feminines even if you have a masculine that is in some sort of karmic relationship this queen of cups is actually a really really good thing for them it's teaching them emotional security, emotional vulnerability, and emotional maturity. Or at least it has the potential to do so, okay? All right, closing message, please. Spirit, from the Tarot here, closing guidance. Ah, justice. Ooh, the Page of Cups again. And this one. And the Hanged Man. You see, guys, I told you with the star. Oh, oh, some of my cards got reversed here. Look at that. The star. But the star is in reverse. That's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Feminines. The star is in reverse. But that's because things just got really, really dark. You've been following your intuition. You've been following your guidance. But things just got super dark for you. And you're in an energy of lacking faith. Oh, oh honey. I know, girl, girl, let me tell you. I know. <laughs> I know how hard this is. Um... because you've been following your intuition all along, you've been following the signs, you've been following the guidance, and then you get smacked in the face with some sort of bullshit, and you feel like you, you've, you've been hit by a Mack truck. And again, I don't feel like you're, you, you're distrusting of, you're distrustful of your intuition. The star here in reverse is more of, it's distrust for the universe. How could you do this to me is the type of energy that I'm hearing or feeling. Um, but, but feminines, justice is here. So feminines pay close attention. Masculines, I'm talking to you now. Justice, the page of cups and the hanged man. You are in this situation and please, uh, uh, please don't take my tone as to say that this situation is bad for you. It's not bad at all, okay? It's actually very good. But you're in this situation right now trying to find enlightenment. Page of Cups again, okay? This is starting on a, what I'm feeling specifically is starting on a journey of some sort of emotional maturity. That's bringing justice into your situation and enlightenment to you. A change in perspective, all right? So, feminines, just keep that in mind and continue on your journey. 
All right. If you need to detach for a minute and go your own separate way, do that. But don't do it from a place of animosity, hurt, pain, fear, anger. Do it for the sake of your own healing and for, a, for the sake of the connection with the universe. I kind of want to cry right now because the universe is kind of is putting forward an energy of please, please trust us. Oof, I want to cry. Please trust us. You have no idea what's really going on around you. Even though you might be seeing pretty clearly and, we're, and you're hearing our messages, you're in divine alignment, your intuition is in divine alignment, but there are still some things that you just can't see right now and you need to trust us. Okay, Spirit is saying it's time for Oracle Guidance. All right, closing message, please, Spirit. From our Oracle deck here, Crystal Mandala, or Mandala, or, sorry, Crystal Mandala, however you say it, whatever. <laughs> closing message, please, Spirit, for this reading. There she, there she blows. Okay. Ooh, there's two. I'm going to take both of them. All right, card number 15. Yes, Archangel Raphael. <clears throat> yes, heart healing, y'all. Archangel Raphael and Malachite. Grace for the grand gesture. And card number 48, Goddess Freya and Amber, the untamed. So we have a six and we have a 12, which boils down to a three. Okay. So, card number 15. We're going to start with that. 17. I keep seeing these damn 17s everywhere. <laughs> okay, here we go. Grace for the grand gesture. We bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there's also, there also comes a time for the leap of faith, the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the universe to gift you with a new future. Y'all, feminines, feminines, listen up, okay? I'm going to read this again. We bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for the leap of faith, the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the universe to gift you with a new future. You are literally going through a purging and healing process to, so, the universe, so you can clear away the space for the universe to bring you exactly what you desire, what you've been working on manifesting, okay? This could be a relationship. It could be a career also. It could be anything, really. All right? The grand gesture is the big step, the willingness to say to the universe, I trust you and I know it's time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience and I am willing to allow you to lead me into it. Come on. <laughs> Yo, this is fucking scary sometimes, guys. You then make an offering which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. If it comes from a place of, quote, should or uncertainty, then you are not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. You must be something, I'm sorry, it must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, although the rewards will be rich, but because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service to love. When it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for divine grace to express itself in your life in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. I'm leaving, I'm, I'm leaving, ha <laughs> ha, no, I'm reading this paragraph. If you, have made step, if you have made leaps of faith in the past and landed flat on your face rather than gracefully on your feet, leave that behind you now. Everything you have experienced in your life has led you towards this moment in time. 
You are not the same person you were before. You are stronger, wiser, and more ready for the beautiful adventure life has in store for you. You have an opportunity at this time to take a leap of faith and the universe is urging you ahead. You may feel afraid or uncertain if you are listening to your mind. Give some love to your mind. It might need your comfort and reassurance. I'm sorry, let me say this again. You may feel afraid or uncertain if you listen to your mind. Give some love to your mind. It might need your comfort and reassurance. Then listen to your heart and make your grand gesture with full faith in the grace that surrounds you now. Wow, okay, so finally we have card number 48, the untamed. We bring you the empowerment of the untamed. To be untamed is to be true to oneself without condition. It is freedom, but it is not always easy. There are many belief systems, some of which are considered to be essential and beyond question to mainstream society, which would... Oh, okay. There are many belief systems, some of which are considered to be essential and beyond question to mainstream society, human society, which would mark an untamed spirit as a dangerous and suspicious creature, even though that untamed spirit serves unconditional love. Yet, to be untamed is the only way to discover who you are and live your divine destiny. Behind the clothing, the social masks, and the stories you tell yourself, or that others tell you, there is a beautiful, wild, divine, cre divine creature that wants out. Uncage that divinity and watch your wild beauty emerge as you and your world transform through raw grace. I'm gonna read this paragraph here. This oracle brings you guidance. Do not allow fear-based reality to temper your spirit, tame your heart, or dull your dreams. There are so many people who will tell you no, call you crazy, and say you are, quote, living in a dream world. That is what you need to believe because your increasing aliveness is too much, I'm sorry, that is what they need to believe because your increasing aliveness is too much for them as yet. They aren't ready for it. What they say and believe is about them, not you or reality. Part of your unplugging process necessarily involves reclaiming the power you have given to any other person to hold an opinion that means more to you than the truths of your own heart. Whoa, guys. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!